So this tutorial is about the Maps app, the Apple Maps app that comes free with the iPad. So here it is, the icon, we tap it to open it, and we see a map already from our previous search, and we're ready to do a new search. For the search, I'm going to press and hold down and let go and hit paste because I've already copied the address for the main building of the Cleveland Institute of Art. Okay, so I'm going to do a search, search, and there's a little pin that appears, okay? And you see this by default. Uh, with the address. So now when you see a pin, you can get that back by clicking on the pin, and there it is again. And also on that little thing, you see an I for information. You click there, and you can see you have several different options. The physical address, uh, you can add to contacts, directions to or from, and one really interesting feature uh, I'll show you in a minute. So some of the views, and this is related to that, there's a little corner over here and you can do different views. You can view instead of a classic map, you can view a satellite view, you can have a hybrid, or I guess this would be helpful if you're hiking, you can have terrain and see you know where things are mountainous or not. So let's get back to that box. When you click on the dot, I, and when you see this little icon of a person here, uh, you can click on that person, click, so you actually get a three-dimensional view of the area. So you can see what things look like uh, before you get there. Now, let's get back to the map. Uh, beyond just a search for a location, we can get directions. And uh, this little icon over here, this little arrow, if we click here, it'll automatically find our current location. There's my current location, and I can get directions from the current location. I'm driving, I'll hit start, and it'll show me how to get there. And I can pinch out to get closer, zoom in, right, and see all the individual streets and how to get someplace. Now, once you've done this, once you've mapped out directions from one place to another, you'll notice the, uh, the little bar down here. You can get uh, driving directions, walking directions, or, or uh, bus routes. Also, once you have those, you can hit start, start button, and then you get this little thing over here. And that gives you written directions that you can, you can follow as well, step-by-step -step written directions, which I think are some of the most helpful things. So that's a very helpful basic app.